between two eIGRP devices, there are a number of values that have to match. And one of the most significant values is the autonomous system number. So that, that element that we do right after router eIGRP, we give it an autonomous system number. Some people call this the process ID, which is accurate, but it is also misleading. It's better to call it the autonomous system number because that alludes, that, that emphasizes the fact that it would probably have to match. It is a value that is not just locally significant, it is significant to the adjacent devices as well because it is communicated in the hello protocol. So if I were trying to figure out what my autonomous system were to make sure that it was matched and things like that, I would first think, I'm just going to do a show IP protocols. And that value, eIGRP 100, yeah, that is our autonomous system number. And we can also see that in the running config. Now it's possible that I might have to rework it. Let's say, let's say I, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to show you that I do have a neighborship right now. Show IP eIGRP neighbors. And you can see that I have neighborships. And it doesn't say the autonomous system. It is inferred that it matches because we're in 100. We expect other routers to be in 100 as well. Let's say no router eIGRP P 100. And then I'm just going to take this. I'm going to say router eIGRP P 101. And I'm going to use the exact same network command. Am I going to form neighborships? No. So I would want to remove this. And I'm going to just copy and paste that right back in. And we should see neighborships form very, very suddenly. EIGRP is certainly not slow in that regard. And so here we get a good indication that yes, the autonomous system has to match between EIGRP speakers. It is not like the OSPF process ID, which is only local to that device.